Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture outside here, a beautiful Golfer's Paradise Driving Range in New Albany, Indiana. Come down and see our friend Tom, he'll set you up, it's a beautiful place. Well, we're here because we're talking about golf, which is a gentleman's sport. But nonetheless, I have decided to tell the story. And we're gonna talk about these things. That is the golf club hit. Ooh, it's got some little grass on it there. And the reason we're talking about it is because Steam is involved in the manufacture of golf club heads. Now what you need to know first is that there's two different kinds of manufacturing processes. One is forged and one is cast. So today we're gonna to talk about forge. Now a forging is when something is beaten into shape. So for years and years and years, the early metal golf club heads were made by blacksmiths, mostly in Scotland, where they were, the blacksmiths became golf smiths. And the interesting thing is you, you have a, a mold and then you pour molten hot metal in there and just like you see all the blacksmith, you bang it and beat it into shape. Interesting, interestingly enough, that means that no two club heads were ever the same until the crazy Americans got involved and decided, hey, we can drop forge these things. Well, what does drop forge mean? Well, that means when you use a mechanical device to drop down onto a mold and that involved the use of steam hammers. Now, we did an episode on steam hammers uh, a while ago. We'll put a link down below so you know what it is. But essentially, it's a steam cylinder and a piston and high pressure steam is injected into the cylinder, which draws the, um, the head of the hammer up and then it is either gravity, means it's dropped without any steam pressure, or if it's double acting cylinder, the steam will act on the top end and push the hammer down. Tremendous force, and these guys started just popping out forged golf club heads that were all uniform. So smart, those American golf club makers. But that is the story of the forged golf club head. Now most not, you know, time now, it's done with hydraulics or other uh, devices, as with a lot of things, steam has gone by the wayside. However, it is still part of the history of the forged golf club head. Let me see if I can make this thing work. It's a lot of pressure. Oh boy. It actually wasn't horrendous. I'd hit 80 before that just to make sure. Thank you, sweetheart, for not letting me down on camera and embarrassing me. So go Google forged golf club heads and you'll see how they do it in the modern world. Now, before you do that, stop by, Google us because we have great content each and every week. We have steam cultures for you. Go back and look at all the older ones. We have boiling points, which are awesome if you really wanna pick up your technical game. And I'll see you next week for part two, cast golf club heads.